drop the egg into the gloss, the shape that it makes will determine the profession of your husband. Uh -huh. It's January 1692. Abigail and Betty Paris have began having strange fits after speaking with the house's slave, Tituba. The trial of Sarah Good started out with Sarah having abs being completely charged guilty. She needed to prove her innocence, but with the questions, it was very difficult. Sarah Good, what evil spirit are you familiar with? None. You've made no contact with the devil? No. Why do you hurt these young children? I do not hurt them. I scorn it. Who do you employ? I employ nobody. What creatures do you employ? No creature, but I'm falsely accused. Why do you go muttering... Away strangely from Mr. Pa Paris's house. I did not mutter, but I thanked him for what he gave my child. You've made no contact with the devil. Nope. The hanging pandemonium in the Salem witch trials started with the hangings of Bridget Bishop and Sarah Good. Nineteen. <laughs> Nineteen women were, hang were hung all together during these awful times. There were also people that were pressed to death, such as Giles Corey. He refused to answer interrogation questions, so he was put under a board, and rocks were put on top of him in increasing increments of weight until he was completely flattened by them. Giles Corey refused to testify in these trials. So the people tortured him by pressing him to death, which means that they kept putting different increments of weight on his back until he was completely flattened. This man was the only person who died this way in the Salem witch trials. <laughs> Are we going? Oh my god. We're going. Uh, will you testify? No! Uh, will you testify? Never! Will you testify? No! Squish. Tizipa, what evil spirit are you familiar with? None. You have made no contact with the devil. I have not. What children do you hurt? I do not hurt them. I, have, I would never do that. Have you seen any pictures of the devil in your head? He has appeared to me once, a while back, near the lean-to with the dairy at the Paris house. I saw a man standing there. Go on. He was, he was quite shadowy and old. He has appeared to me other times, too, with four other people, two of them being Sarah Good and Sarah Osborne. They were with him, and they were telling me, go, hurt the children. They were telling me <laughs> to attack them. And I said no. I did hurt them once, though, but I should never, ever do it again. It was too awful a thing for me to do. And then, but afterwards, they, like, they persisted. They kept telling me, go hurt the children. And then they were sending animals, there was a cat, there were two cats and dogs all coming to me saying listen to them, listen to them. And then at one point, Sarah Osborne appeared to me and said cut off the head of Anne Putnam. And I tried to resist her and it was just terrible, I, she almost overtook me, it was horrible. Oh my god, you had a knife! You tried to hand it to me but I wouldn't do it! Oh my god!
The girl suffered from many terrible symptoms. <coughs> She's pinching me! <coughs> they had awful convulsions on the floor and started shaking uncontrollably, twisting into odd shapes. Their father was extremely concerned. My daughter, my daughter, what evil spirit is doing this to you? They would accuse the witches while having these awful fits. When the girls were going through their fits, they would sometimes run around screaming at, at the creatures they claimed to have been torturing them. They would run and hide in the strangest of places, such as under tables and chairs, screaming for their accusers to leave them alone and stop the to horrible torture they were going through. The last person hung in the Salem witch trials was a man by the name of Samuel Wardwell. He was hung in September after being accused of witchcraft. After this, the only people that died during the Salem witch trials were those imprisoned that died of, star that died of starvation or sickness. In the Salem witch trials, some people believe that this happened because of a prank. Others say it was, some traumatic, it was from some traumatic experiences the girls had or inner psychological problems that had not been diagnosed. Others think that it, there was a disease in the bread that they ate. No one knows for sure what happened. What, what do, do you think? think?